folks welcome to uh, show that pedal I'm Jace and, uh, and this week I've been asked to do a review on this Paul Reed Smith uh, SE custom made in Korea um, I don't know what year it is I, I imagine that it's fairly new in the last sort of uh, five years or so uh, because they've just started doing the Paul Reed Smith signature on the headstock uh, and so uh, yeah it's SE custom um, no binding on the neck but that's quite um, that's quite sort of usual really for a Paul Reed Smith binding on the guitar itself but uh, none on either side of the neck the bird inlays and the signature are really a sort of uh, an opportunity for Paul Reed Smith to just show that the uh, Korean guitars are high end as well um, and it plays really nicely uh, it's got great action uh, easy to bend uh, strings what with the uh, 24.75 um, fret uh, scale length uh, similar to a, a Gibson so making uh, string bends easy that's the single coil setting so it's tappable um, and it's on the back pickup um, so that's the a lot more like a Les Paul sort of pull sound so um yeah quite stratty really shape is reminiscent of a strat but um the the figured maple top and the sort of slight arch on it is reminiscent of a gibson of course um so using the paul reed smith i just wanted to do a little bit of a sort of john mayer idea into this particular show which is uh, clone clones that I own um, and just doing a little bit of a shoot out of those um, so I've got the bad horse by tone city um, which is a sort of uh, lower uh, priced uh, unit from China and the Kalamazoo love pedal Kalamazoo uh, which I imagine is a clone clone because it's uh, it's quite capable of quite clean sort of uh, boost with a little bit of overdrive uh, which is really nice I was hoping to include this pedal which again is made in China um, I bought this off eBay for about 38 quid uh, and it got shipped from a company in China uh, but unfortunately um, it just um, doesn't work uh, it worked I think for about a month or two and that was it but anyway let's get on with the uh, the video um, so I've got the Paul Reed Smith I'm running it into a looper which has got the um, John Mayer style sort of uh, ballad in E uh, E, A and B are the chords to that and um, and then it's going into stage tuner Bad Horse which is the tone singer yeah, we've already got that, got that yeah. one there. Uh, and the Kalamazoo mm -hmm. there by Love Battle so let's dive straight in then oh just to say as well after the kalamazoo we've got digital re reverb and delay by boss uh, great pedal two effects in one uh, loads of different settings all i've got is a little bit of slap back one repeat very subtle um so the first thing i notice about the bad horse is that the pedal isn't a soft touch pedal Neither that one actually for that matter, but it's um, like on that Canyon for instance, that's a soft touch pedal and that's great for live work because it just doesn't make a noise. Whereas this it just mm. clicks. Was that come, would that come through then, would it? If you well, was... yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, when the drums and everything else are thrashing away in the context of a live gig, you're not going to really be too worried about it, but... Um, <laughs>
weak spot with every uh, effect pedal I find. Um, and that seems to be it really for the bad horse because with a clon style uh, boost pedal, what you don't really want is for it to just be an, an out and out overdrive pedal, otherwise you just have a different pedal. I mean, you might choose something like this. This is like the, a blues breaker type pedal, um, John Bull by Toadworks. And um, that there is just meant to be like a Marshall blues breaker. Um, it, you can tell because for a start, they've called it British Overdrive and the font there on John Bull is the Marshall font. Look at the H, look at the L's, it's Marshall. So it's meant to be a Marshall pedal. Um, so if you was going to have an overdrive, you could, um, you know, you could have something like that. Um, so the idea of a clon pedal, um, it was, I think it was invented by a guy in the early 90s in Boston or Philadelphia or somewhere. And loads of people have, had said to him that they're like a tube screamer but don't like the fact that it's got so much of a, uh, a a mid a mid hump you know it really really accentuates the mids uh, so they wanted something which was going to be like a more rounded and less sort of in your face sort of overdrive and that's that's how clums came about is it um, I can't remember his name <laughs> So that bad horse, about uh, 40 quid, 35, 40 quid, uh, brand new that is. I suppose you get them from Anderton's, is the first port of call really, um, for, uh, for like Tone City pedals and that. That's with the overdrive up full. And... sweet spots and that that's quite a sweet spot because even at fairly low volume it seems to want to feed back that does There's quite a lot of compression and sustain going on there with that pedal um, Actually, that's on the coil tapped uh, on the uh, PRS as well. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of sustain with that, really. That's quite impressive. What does that uh, on the coil taps on the PRS mean? Uh, coil tap on the single coil uh, so one of these pickups right uh, the, one of these uh, this humbucker has been wound in such a way so that it can be a humbucker and a single coil pickup so if you have the time uh, the ton control pulled out <laughs> <then> <laughs> gone all posh all of a sudden <laughs> Judith Keppel um, 
if the turn's pulled oh. out like that, then it just reverts to being a single coil. Right. Uh, and when it's pressed in, then both pickups are, but I say both single coil pickups are engaged in the whole. Oh, okay. Um, Must PRS is that the? A lot of a lot of guitars do that. I've got a Schecter Tally that's got uh, humbuckers, and but you can right. split them. Oh, okay. And that was an early eighties guitar, so it's been going on for a while. That. But yeah, that's. It a bassy sound to say it's a back pickup mm. and the tone's on full I mean the treble on the amp is, uh, is quite a long uh, probably be back. what you got this Fender uh, this? Fender Super 60 uh, late 80s red knob version um, so I used to have the Fender the twin with the red knobs and um, that's just a 1x12 version of the Fender Twin. Uh, somebody uh, put some new uh, material on the front of it to make it look like an older Fender than yeah. what it really is to make it look a little bit nicer. But, um, it's quite but, sparkly. Yeah, other than that, that is um, just a bog standard Super 60. We go for about 275 to 350 on eBay, which is where I got that one from. Um, so anyway, turn, turn, just hear the bad horse again. Love pedal. turn it up the bassier it gets um, which is very strange so that's that's the treble is <laughs> and that's um, giving the amp some jip actually that is, so I'll turn that down uh, so it, it's like it's like a tone cut that is rather than a tone because if it was a tone, it would get treblier the more you turn it up. But then if, you, if it gets bassier, the more you turn it up. It's like the old tone cut or a t um, treble cut on a um, top boost box. that the Kalamazoo isn't really or the Tone City is not really in the same league as the Love Pedal and it's to be expected since it's, you know, it's three times the price really Tones, the harmonics that are, that are going on. So much more pleasing in the uh, tone. to the love pedal um, and that's with the tone fairly far down so now it's at about uh, 10 o'clock <laughs>
It's a lot uh, more like a clon, I think. Uh, that overdrive really comes in early. Um, uh, drive comes in really early there you have to have it really low to make it sound anything like a clon. Um, they both sound really nice together though don't they when you demonstrated it a, a minute ago. Yeah when we were messing about on a previous tape. It was like it was the overdrive the um, f feedback. Yeah. Um, yeah stacking the uh, the overdrives um, or the boosts, which whatever you want to call them, <clears throat> they did seem to work really well together, didn't they? Mm -hmm. um, but um, just because I haven't really touched on this glass either, and I think it's like a secondary tone control. <laughs> together then. it then uh, that's some stacked together um, they certainly as you rightly say they uh, they certainly do sound lovely together um, if uh, I suppose if I'd never had the love pedal I would think that the uh, that the tone city sounded great but then as other pedal shows have often pointed out um, they're probably not really for the professional gigging musician the tone city pedals um one or two of them are really really good um i'll do another video why why are they not 
Well, the components are quite cheap. Uh, the pedal switch itself is quite clunky. Um, I've got um, a golden plexi over there, um, which, you know, Dave Simpson, a friend of mine, um, he absolutely swears by, and, and I like it as well. Um, I don't know whether I like that more than this, um, but I've also got uh, a Moa, um, a white pedal, it's over there. Uh, we just have a look at that. So yeah, these are the pedals that I'm talking about. Small print um, pedals like that there, and they'll be on that. So, yeah. so volume, tone, and gain again, as usual. Um, Hustle drive is meant to be like a OCD, um, and so it's got the low pass and the high pass switch. Uh, great pedal, but again, I don't think really tonally it was in the ballpark of that but what it did do is it it, it drove that really well to just sing in sort of um, creamy lead lines so, so thanks to everybody for uh, subscribing and watching the videos uh, I do hope that you enjoy the content I've got some t-shirts available if you want to buy a t-shirt <laughs> and um, ask nice. me any questions about any of the pedals that are on this board or any other boards um, because over the years I've I have learned quite a lot about um, pedals uh, I must say I'll just show you this um, because this was probably one of the first pedal boards that oh, I got crikey. a Boss BCB6 yeah. um, and all that. you could fit in there was Boss pedals and then of course they upgraded to the this kind of a thing Mm. Uh, where you still got six pedals into it um, but then you could switch out the foam on the inside and um, put in whatever mix of pedals that you wanted to and then as time wore on I uh, invested in one of these uh -oh. which is the Behringer <laughs> uh, PB1000 and you can get 12 pedals in this um, and there are actually 12 pedals in it I think this, this is my B board, this is my A board for gigging, but at smaller venues, um, and it's in much smaller of course, but for smaller venues, um, you need a smaller board. Um, and uh, so that's that's my B board. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'll do a review on, on this yeah, another next day. Time. Um, but yeah, there's the key nine there for the organ sounds. That's an out and out Marshall pedal. Uh, I bought you that from America, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, no, well, you ordered it for me, but you didn't. That's not the one you brought back from America. All right, which is the one? Uh, don't know. Talk about it another time. Anyway, so yeah, full tone, full drive, all the wah, um, echo. That's like a digital. Dimension or Dimension C mm. by Boss, but they go for about three or four hundred quid now, so that's just a copy. Um, that Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame reverbs. That's another nice switch there. Yeah, silent, yeah. silent switch. In fact, even these uh, silent switches. I didn't realise that these TC Electronic uh, pedals are actually made TC Electronic have been bought out by Behringer. So the cheap Behringer pedals that you used to get, like plastic ones, I've got one over there. Mm. So the, the cheap pedals that you used to get by Behringer, they've actually rebranded them as TC Electronic, right. uh, put them in metal chassis. Um, and these are a lot more um, robust and a lot. I think they're a lot better thought of than the old Behringer pedals. But anyway. Mm. Very good. Uh, so that another we'll, time, that's we'll, another... Um, we'll, we'll, we'll go through that pedal board another time. But anyway, yeah, the point episode. being is over the years I've had all sorts of different uh, pedal boards. Mm. In fact, that in it, there's uh, another couple of pedal boards down there. Uh, there's one over there. And then there's all the multi-effect boards as well. So um, we'll have a look at those as time goes by and ask me any questions on any of them because... Uh, 
uh, I'll be able to uh, show you those. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and tune in next time. Subscribe on the button, which I think should be up here. Very um, good. And then this video here will take you to uh, a recent uh, band performance of ours. But uh, thanks uh, again for uh, watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.